with action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the silver spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hopalong Cassidy. The same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures, and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired. For this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde as California. Well, Hoppy, what about our story? It's one about a man named Satan Blue, and we met him at a town called, oddly enough, Paradise. Paradise, New Mexico, a thriving cow town squatting on the Santa Fe Trail to California. So we titled this one A Jailer Named Satan. We were on our way back to the Bar 20, and as we entered the outskirts of the town, California and I had no problems on our mind but the New Mexico heat. Well, look. We are now riding into paradise. I never thought I'd make it. (laughs) Population 4,022. Not much of a town. No, no, it ain't, but uh, it's peaceful and quiet. Yeah, just like a graveyard in the making. Buckles! Save me, save me! Don't let that devil take me! Well, what particular devil did you mean, Uh, Pat? Sure, and I meant Satan, that's who. And my name's Brian. Brian Gehagen, it is. Now, you will save me, won't you, Mr... Uh... Their name's Cassidy. Hop along, Cassidy. This is California Carlson, my partner. Cassidy. Oh, the saints be praised. I'm safe. Sure, Brian, sure. Now, tell me, what form is Satan taking these days? And what bottle did you find him in? A bottle, you say? A bottle. I wish he was in a bottle. Ah, here he comes. It is a surprise he'll be getting meeting two of the Irish, especially one with guns. Oh, you decided to give up, you dead bastard vomit. Shoot him, lad. Shoot the bladder scout. Easy, Brian. Easy now. Who are you, sir? Who is he? He's Satan, that's who. Satan blues, my moniker, stranger. Now, Gahagan, off to jail with you before I part your hair with my gun barrel. Hold on. I take it you're the sheriff, uh, but what's this man done? What's he done? Hey. Just wrecked the Longhorn Saloon, busted the bartender's jaw, knocked out two dealers and a cowpoke, three railroad workers, a Wells Fargo agent, and a deputy. <clears throat> to say nothing about the ones he only bruised up. <laughs> well, those I hit while I was off balance, you wouldn't hold that against a poor man, now, would you? And I remember hitting no deputy. Uh, 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 Hoppy, do uh, you think he did all of that? Brian. I guess you owe the sheriff a little time. Now you better go along. No, no, please. You'd not let him take me. Not him. Do you trot peaceful or do I drag your carcass? No, I won't let you. I'll kill you first. Oh, no, no, it ain't. No. Oh, Hoppy, Hoppy, he's got my gun. Put that down, you wall eyed galoot. I'm the sheriff. You're not taking Brian Gehagen to die for you. I'm going to go out in a blaze of glory like my mother always wanted. Brian. Yeah, it is home I'm sending ye, Satan. I'll be... Oh, me hand, me hand. You've shut me hand off. I only creased it, Brian. I had to make you drop the gun. Oh, and to think of Cassidy you do this to a Gehagen. Oh, it is a foul black day for the Irish. Cassidy, eh? Well, I'm thanking you. Now, Gehagen, I've had enough trouble today. Hey, what? Well, drop. Consign your drop. <laughs> I've got a skull just like... Pig on this critter. That wasn't necessary, Sheriff. He wasn't. Ah, you just let me turn to my own arrest in Cassidy. Good day to you. Well, bust my galluses. Hoppy, that's some tough lawman. Er, no wonder Gahagan didn't want to go with him. Yeah. Well, I'm wondering. Uh, Hoppy, watch that curiosity of yours. Gahagan's been in jail for fighting before this. That's a cinch. Now, how come it suddenly scares him so much that rather than go to this particular jail, he'd commit murder? Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, A Jailer Named Satan. Hoppy in California's entry into Paradise, New Mexico, was stopped when a big man named Brian Gehagen begged them to save him from jail and Sheriff Satan Blue. Gehagen is stopped from killing the sheriff only by Hoppy's quick shooting. 
Now, Hoppy puzzles Gehagen's strange fear of Satan Blue. Uh, it doesn't set right, California. I can see an Irish railroad hand getting into a scrap. But to try and kill the sheriff rather than pay a fine or spend a few days in jail, no. Well, here's the Longhorn Saloon where Gehagen had his fight. Yeah, let's try it. Satan Blue. Odd nickname. Makes a right pretty combination. Uh, but the sheriff sure didn't look like no Satan. Uh, more, uh, I'd say, like a dirt farmer. Don't make any mistake of underestimating that hombre. Those cold eyes of his belong to a gun hawk, not to a dirt farmer. Gun hawk? Oh, a hoppy. Uh, uh, bartender. Did you see the way he polanks Gehagen? No amateur ever swung a six gun like that. Yeah, how the strangers? Bartenders laid up. I'm the owner, Jake Loomis, and what do you have? Forty rod or beer? And please, no fighting, as you can see what hey, happens. Hey, 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 whoa! Huh? Slow down to a walk. Hoppy, I think this hombre slipped his tonsil. Yeah, maybe we can get some information. <laughs> this I got. Jake Loomis knows everything that goes on in paradise. What's your particular hankering? Sheriff Satan Blue, his brand, and maybe Satan. Mister, Mister, get out. I, I like being healthy. Hoppy, he's scared stiff. Uh huh. Why, Loomis? You two down here, guys. <laughs> Loomis said get out. Uh, m- m- Mr. Callender, I didn't tell him anything. Uh, shut up, you chattering old weasel. California, what would you say he is? Snake or skunk? Well, Hoppy, from his smell, it's I'd say... It's been a long time since I shot a cow poke, but... Oh, you blasted! I'm still trying to warn you, Callender. I'd hate to have to stitch a couple of new buttonholes on that pretty shirt. Oh, are you slick, Chung? Hold it. I'm not wasting another punch. You, you beat me to the draw. Well, I'll kill you for this. Yeah? Calendar, if an I was you, I'd pull my freight fast. Hoppy's guns are hair triggering. If he accidentally had to sneeze. Uh, I'm well, gone, I'm gone. Well, well, I saw it, but I don't believe it. You beat Wes Calendar to the draw. Why, he didn't even clear leather. But you, Armory's better scat. He's Satan's foreman. Foreman of what? The jail? Do, 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 don't ask about Satan, I told you. Ain't nobody in paradise who'll talk about ah, him. I contradict. I contradict. Oh. My goodness, yes. I, Anthony Sidwell, will talk about Satan. It's not a worldly Satan that I fear. Mm, peanuts. You've lost me, friend. Peanuts? Well, Satan eats peanuts. Disappointing devil. Uh, but a big man in these parts, sir. Owns a whole desert north of town. I'm a big man, too. Own the hotel, two stores. How come a brave man would be scared to go to Satan's jail? Ah, I'm afraid it's you that's lost me. Uh, but the answers might be intriguing. Uh, my goodness, yes. Interesting. Uh, why don't you ask Satan? He'd know. Uh-huh. Why not? Come on, California. We're going to jail. <laughs> You want to see Brian Gehagen, huh? Yeah, for one thing, Sheriff. Just call me Satan. Everybody does. I'll bet that ain't all. <laughs> That's darn possible. Dad, bless me if it ain't. Sorry I can't see no prisoner. Rule of my jail. What? But every jail permits visitors. I got a special jail. You want to know why it's so special? It's because I run it. Me. I'm the reason. Well, I'll be horn swabble. Nah, not here, please. I'd have to plug you. Uh, who's judge of this town's court? Well, I reckon that'd be me. You? Well, maybe I should see the mayor if there is one. Sure, take a good squint. He's in my boots. Doggone. Is there anything you ain't? Now, well, uh, let's see. Uh, I wish you Perkins is dog catcher, but I reckon I'm the boss politician here, so the bully you get out. Boy, I'd jail you for... Look out! Hit the floor! I'll get him! Now, let's take a look. Sure, but there ain't no hurry. I didn't miss that blasted ambusher. Ah, oh, you sure didn't miss. He's just a boy. Well, he's old enough to trigger a six-gun. Pedro Morales, yeah, yeah, regular criminal. He don't look like no criminal to me. I don't reckon I asked you, sonny. But I arrested his brother, Felipe, just a month ago. Hold him still for a couple of offenses. Uh, eh, bad blood there, yep. yeah. You're holding his brother. That wouldn't be why he wanted to take a shot at uh, you, would it? You better just take warning. No one crosses Satan Blue and live, you savvy. <laughs> Uh, we 
oughtn't to be looking over Satan's land like this. Uh, let's ride on, huh? Oh, uh, I feel a little responsible for Brian Gahagan. And I don't like the way Satan tried to run us out. Funny, this is all desert. Too bad it's so far to those hills. Puerto River runs through them. Huh? I'll bet that's it. He figures to get that water. Hardly. That's 20 miles away. It'd cost a fortune to dig an irrigation system that far. Yeah, yeah. That would be a powerful lot of digging. Well, let's cut down the other side of this rise and head... California, take a look. Well, doggone my Sunday britches. Man, a whole crew of them digging. Hoppy, Hoppy, them must, must be, be the... prisoners from Satan's jail. No wonder we couldn't get to see Brian. I bet he's on his way out here. Some dirty polecat trick. Making them hombres work in this blazing sun. Why, 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 why it ain't legal. It's, uh... I wonder. It's sure a low bit of business, but I have a feeling Satan has protected himself by some legality. Yeah, but we're not protected. We're trespassing. Trespassing? Uh, we ain't hurting nothing. Sate's going to be awful mad if he finds us nosing around out here, though. So mad I have a hunch our lives wouldn't be worth a plug peso. Uh-oh, let's go. Rider's coming. Satan's crew! We're in leather! Faster! You think I'm dragging my feet? I'm scared stiff! We got to get to town before they... California! The more men ahead of us! And on both sides, Hoppy! We're trapped! Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, A Jailer Named Satan. In the course of investigating the strange jailer Satan Blue's desert lands, Hoppy in California found he was using prisoners from his jail to dig irrigation trenches. Then, as they start back to paradise, Hoppy and California are trapped by Satan's men. A few hours later... They're in Satan's jail in paradise. Well, well, uh, <clears throat> your boys did a nice job catching these here two calendar. Uh, have a drink of red liquor, Cassidy? Oh, thanks, but we'd like to leave. What are we charged with, trespassing? What's the fine? Mm, charges, huh? Mm, uh, uh, let me see. Trespassing, obstructing justice, resisting arrest, uh, disturbing the peace. Wait, we didn't say... Shut up! That's another offense. Dim to this here court. Well, I'd say 90 days was about fair to start. 90 days? 90 days. That's my verdict. Now you can spend it in the fresh air, which is mighty nice of me. Yes, sir. Uh, you can do the full 90 days digging on the ranch. I'd rather be in a cell, but this is ridiculous. Those charges are false and you know it. Well, sure I do. I made them up, didn't I? <laughs> but your problem is who's going to believe you? You ain't seeing nobody until sentence is up. <laughs> and that may be longer than you think. Hoppy, let's stay back. Good. I'd just as soon bust a cap your way as not. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to make it legal and proper, so if you two will just sign these papers. Nothing doing. Please, Cassidy. They're only statements of voluntary request for work on the prison farm. Of course, that's my ranch, naturally. We'll sign nothing. Now, let's see. I'm sure going to hate to do this, but then I reckon I'll just have to sacrifice one of you. Sign it, Cassidy. I plug the old waddy. Why, Henri, no good sign. Come on, you don't. All right, Satan. We'll both sign. You win this hand. This hand? Cassidy, here's a bit of information. Satan wins every hand. Bar none. Satan, this is the slickest scheme yet. The rate we're going, we'll have this irrigation system done inside a year. Yep, this land will be worth a thousand times what I paid for it. <laughs> And it's causing me nary a red cent. When this land has water on it, I'll sell it to a hundred new ranchers. Why, paradise will be, uh, well, paradise. <laughs> Especially for barkeeps and store owners. Yeah, yeah. Makes me feel kind of choked up being such a big help to progress. Yeah. Hey, Thompson! Hey! 
Don't let them rest on their shovels. Make them dig, man. I'll give them a little encouragement. Do that. But uh, I got to get back to town. I just can't stand to see these poor critters working in this sun. I... Seems such a shame that men can't stay on the street and narrow. Uh, uh, adios, adios. All right, you prisoners, put your backs in those shovels. Hey, Hagen, speed it up. Would you like now for me to use two shovels at once, Mr. Callan? Never mind the jokes, bend to it. <laughs> Well, Cassidy, you don't seem so tough swinging a shovel. Uh, just stay around, Calendar. We'll have words when I get through with this crooked sentence. It's going to be some while. Haven't you asked around? Uh, what you, what you talking about? Uh, talk to old Frank. He started with a 30-day sentence. That was, I uh, guess that was four months ago. He's only got 60 days more to go. Seems when it's time to let him go, he gets into trouble, and Satan has to tack on a little extra. You mean no one finishes here until the job is finished? Smart man. All right, you've had your conversation. Now dig. Sure, sure. But what about Pedro Morales' brother there, Felipe? He can't take much more of the sun. So what? He can die for all of me. Dig, I said, dig! <laughs> Getting worse. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see. What day is it? I, I just lost track of time. Yeah, we've been doing this for four days. Say, hey, Buckles, take a look at Felipe. Oh, he looks like he's ready to. Gahagan, he's collapsing. Yeah, I'll see to him. Calendar, Felipe's ill. Bring water. Uh, Faith, he was such a young lad. He was. He's. Uh, the... Sun was too much for him. All right, all right. Back to work. I'll take care of the kid. Then you must be an undertaker as well as a skunk. The lad's gone. What? But... Uh, he don't even work in a month. Well, at least he's where you can't touch him, Calendar. Sure. But you're not. Oh! Oh, you black-hearted! Uh, pick up, Cahagan, or I'll blast your head off. Thompson! Make him do extra work. We've lost the man. If they try to rest, use your rifle butt. That'll give them energy. How's the noggin, Cassidy? Uh, full of jumping hop toads. You know, I was thinking, a few more days in the sun like today. And we'll be joining poor Felipe Morales, to the fact. But if it's escape you're thinking of... Don't forget the five who've tried it. Three shot like dogs, rest their souls. Yeah, and the other two beaten to a pulp by calendar. Oh, bad cess to that man. Still, I have an idea how one of us may get away. Brian, how'd you like a good fight? A fight, is it? Um, well, I'm a peaceful man, but... If I could get away in the confusion of a brawl, I may be able to lick this Satan and his whole setup. With a brawl, I can start. But how do you plan to escape? The guards will come in to break it up, leaving the outside clear for a moment. Now, if by accident you could toss that table against the thin planks of the bunkhouse wall, and so hard that one of the planks broke open enough for me to... <laughs> it will be. But you'll have to slip through fast. It won't take them long to spot a hole. When you lift the table, I'll be starting. <laughs> Good luck to you. I'm off to indulge me favorite sport. Hoppy, are you sure you can get help for us? Any chance is better than dying like poor Felipe. Sure, yes. Brian's picking up the table. So long, California. I'll be back for you. Good luck, Hoppy. I think I'll join the fight. Fight like men. Use your rifle butts. Get that Gahagan. Get away from me, you murderer. Good work, Walt. Ah, into your bunks. All of you. He started a fight. Oscar Hagen into his bunk, Walt. Wait, one of the prisoners is missing. Cassidy, he can't have gotten far. Let's get him. Yeah, but 
Satan. I didn't know Gahagan was going to start a fight. Shut up! You're a fool, Calder. The well, first thing we've got to do is repair the damage that you let happen. All right, all right. Pipe down, you hombres. Satan's got a word for you. Yeah, bunch of smart critters, you be. Well, here's a present. Hoppy's hat. Brian, it's Hoppy's hat. That's right. His body's buzzard bait on the hill. Took us two days to catch him, but we did. Now, maybe this will teach you scoundrels to stop trying to escape. Ain't nobody escaping from Satan Blue. Tis a devil you be, Satan. I don't see how the real one can stand the competition. Governor, if that hombre talks again, slap a slug in his mouth. Now listen close. That jailbreak night for last busted my patience. I've been kind to you up till now. Yeah, maybe that's what poor Felipe died of, your kindness. <laughs> sure. Now, uh, I'm making an example of you, Carlson. You're going to be just as dead as Cassidy. That's not very dead, Satan. You've been fibbing to the boys. What? Hoppy! Oh, I'm glad to see you. Where's the army? Right here. Satan, meet a lawyer friend, Joe Wilson. Never mind, Cassidy. From what we overheard, the only place I want to meet him is in court. So, you were listening. Enough to hear you admit responsibility for Felipe Morales' death and plan the murder of that man there, California Carlson. I reckon so. Cover there, cover them. Uh, guns? Why, what's the meaning of this, Sheriff? Just call me Satan. Cassidy, I thought you had better sense than to think that this well-fed lawyer'd protect you. Well, you always did like things legal, Satan. Sure. As judge and jury, I hereby sentence you to die. Oh. I'll get over against that wall. Why, but this is crazy. You can't just sentence a man to... Oh, uh, I almost what? forgot you. Uh. Get over there with him. Why? Come on, get. So you went for help. There's a fine lot of help. Ah, oh, Hoppy, we needed guns, not a lawyer. Shut up there. Come there, you ready? We ain't got no rope to hang him proper, so you best plug him. I'm ready, Satan. Give the word. Any last words from you fellas before execution? I think there's been enough talk, Satan. So do I. Finish him off, Calendar. <laughs> Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy. Easy, folks. We're all right. Thanks for downing calendar, Loomis. You townspeople heard enough? Well, I'll say thanks you posting us outside. Okay, fellas, take Satan to jail. Better take his partner, too. Uh, no, hold it, Sidwell. Sidwell? What? Satan had the power, but there had to be money behind him. Only one man in paradise wasn't afraid of Satan. And somehow he didn't strike me as that brave. Sidwell. Well, I, I, this is preposterous. My man's crazy. There's plenty of evidence in the land records. I stopped and checked them. Sidwell owns half this desert land. I don't imagine Satan wants Sidwell to go free anyhow. How about it, uh, Satan? Don't say anything. Don't tell them anything. I'll pay. Oh, shit, your trap, Sidwell, you dead blasted old woman. We're caught square to the mark. Take it like the man that you ain't. That's it. Take them both, man. Lock them up tight. You can't do this to me. Let me go. I'm a good man. Don't do it. Well, that ends that. California, Brian, the rest of the Paradise people going home? Yeah, Hoppy. Uh, but would you kindly tell me how you got them here in the first place? And who the devil is this Joe Wilson? After I escaped, I knew the only way to beat Satan was to get into town and take away his power. So I rode out, got Wilson, and brought him to Paradise. After a town meeting with him backing me... We all came out to set the trap for Satan. Well, it made a big difference knowing Governor Joe Wilson was riding with us, Hoppy. Satan had us all pretty scared, but when the governor himself... Uh, Loomis, uh, I'm sorry to trick you, but this Joe Wilson isn't the Governor Joe Wilson. What's that? Well, but he said, uh, we thought, well, who is he? <laughs> a friend of mine. Part-time lawyer, part-time cook. Works on a ranch east of here. <laughs> I knew I didn't have time to get the Santa Fe and bank to get the real governor, so I drafted this Joe Wilson and hope no one in paradise knew what the governor looked like. Well, I'll be darned, a two-bit lawyer, and we thought he was governor. That's all you needed, Loomis, to think the governor was riding with you. It gave you the courage. But I have a hunch you'll never let a man like Satan ride herd on your town again. Yeah, it's mighty fine to be free again, regardless. And tonight, Brian Gehagen's going to have the sweetest fight ever seen in New Mexico. <laughs> I doubt it, Brian. 
Loomis here was elected temporary sheriff. You wrecked his saloon, remember? Right. And from the look in his eye, I'd say you were due to spend the next 30 days in jail. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Hoppy does it again. The terror-stricken townspeople of Paradise were able to fight Satan with his own weapons when they thought the governor was riding with Hoppy to their rescue. In Hoppy's next story, he finds himself up against a ruthless outlaw who manages to keep his identity well hidden as the man in the yellow mask. Don't miss this next adventure with Hopalong Cassidy. Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. A Jailer Named Satan was written by Herb Purdom with original music under the personal direction of Albert Glasser. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. Commodore production.